Good morning, YouTube. Welcome, everybody, to my channel. Much love for you guys who are stopping by. We've had an incredible season so far with some crazy games and also some classic maps have returned. We have Raid back and also Express. Now, throughout Stage 2, we've had a couple pretty awesome Express games, but I wanted to take you guys on a blast from the past, bring you guys a little bit through my history a bit and into the time machine. Now, into the time machine, Right now in this episode, we're gonna be watching Unite versus Complexity. This is when I won my first MLG championship with Parasite Embos and Ricky, where we played against Complexity and stopped their four-peat. And this is some express gameplay, so I thought that this was a good time to you know go back and watch it. I haven't watched this since I basically played it. Like I remember we played this, came home, we rewatched the tournament, and I haven't watched it since then. And this was uploaded on September 2nd in 2013, as you can see on your screen. So this is going to be awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, but let's get right into it, man. It's 7.48 a.m. I've just woken up. I've got some energy in me. And uh, I'm going to record this video, hit up a run, and then go live. So as you can see right there, it says name us live Monday through Friday, which is sort of accurate. I'm live at 9.30 a.m. Eastern every day on Monday through Thursday. So come through, check me out, and uh, let's get into this video. Though I've been talking a lot, so let's do it. A little bit earlier. Strategy, We're up 3 1 right now in this best of seven, man. The boys on We're frying, dude. Be starting with an MSMC. And guys, as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be doing a scuff giveaway tonight. Tune it to, sorry, to win. You got to tweet. <laughs> Tune into midweekgaming.com with your predictions. Is it complexity or is it unite? We're speaking of the grand finals. This one might be It's actually crazy that we were up like this versus fans. this team, guys. They but were dominant at the time. There. Let us know who you think is going to take this. Aggie. We will <laughs> announce the winner on Thursday's Pro Scrims. Awesome stuff. They are pretty cool scuffs. I'm not going to lie, but back into the action right now. I'm having a look at Rick. He's going to be on your screen. He has that bomb and a very familiar rush every single time from TV. Yeah, this used to be like again. people used to run right now, shotguns back in the day and get up in that uh, room up there and maps and just dominate, dude. I'm on board with TP as well. And I was looking through all the players here. And Crim Six, I think, is going to be the player to do so, damage. He's up top in the control tower. Also, want to point as out you can see right now, like one of us has completely right full flanked them. We're, we're like actively the trapping them. Ricky used to hold that back right, bridge window and just give us the comms the on the bomb. Off, so I got up mid. I pick up a blood on Clay. Get traded. Now they're in a two v two, man. So it's going to be a two on two. Rick was so good at holding this, guys. Ricky was just twenty seconds left. Go, Rick. Be all down to Crim Six. He's managed to pick up the bomb. Can he get the turn on? No, he can't. There is going to be someone on the top train looking to find that pick with the DSR. Gonna have to be aggressive now. Only 10 seconds left. Needs to try and find two kills. There's gonna be Ricky. Oh, and, oh no. nightmare. Just player. not enough bullets left. And the gun does get Ricky, but Paris didn't have enough time. That, or Embos, rather, the <laughs> yeah, dude, map. we had played later, so buddy. much <laughs> yeah, SD. Like, Look at us getting hyped, dude. Challenge that. Don't even need to. Just gonna let the time run out and take that first round. And night. Rush is going to start building on their shoulders. They we had played so here. much search and destroy, guys, that we had it down to a T. Rick holding that spot, like, he was so good at sitting there, making sure nobody could get that bomb down, giving us the call outs, dude. Great way to start, dude. I remember this feeling of, like, I'm about to win a championship out, bro. Dude, Haggy's just got this shoddy, bro. I actually, like, did not remember that. Into the mini map. Oh, that's both with the shoddy. Like We're obviously in the A push here. A. There's two players on defense for complexity here to stop it. That's going to be TP working with Aix. And Aix, I think, is going to be devastating here. So I remember with our play here. We'd throw two EMPs and a nade up top, and then we'd get in with the shoddy. Mm -hmm. And then me and, uh, me and Chris would either work the train. They cycle those plays back. Or I would go through mid lane. That didn't work out. A delayed eight, uh, sorry, delayed right now we're up top. Bows oh, with the shoddy, man. He's too good. As soon as you gave us up top, it was over, man. And that was the problem with complexity. They didn't, they didn't realize that we had, like, confirmed strats like that. Like, we knew what we wanted to do. Like, once we got to a spot, once we got up top, like, it was going to be tough. A three on two. It's going to be Aix and Clay. We messed up right there, though. We gave Aix an opportunity to come up on and man i think complexity can pull this off with 30 seconds all they got but i'm there i think he can pull it off fuck it i'm there putting this bomb down and glacier needs to stay alive he does need to stay alive and there's going to be plays tearing down onto his position the nade's going to come in he's going to be even weak flak jacket for the win he knows the bomb's going to be fine he can't get the kill on the bomb once and their parasite drops down and unite go two to zero there we go there we go dude it's so much different how this map is now man you see how much slower people are on the map in the way that they're they're navigating it it's just so much different 
They have the momentum. It's they still a really good map the in Cold War. It's just a lot different. That's all. Walk home with five thousand dollars in their pocket. All right. So another shot that we used to do is we used to extreme conditioning up to mid, uh, and then free fire. And then if we saw somebody on bomb, I actually had FM jamma gun. I could wall bang through the train and kill the guy on the bomb. And I think that that's gonna happen here on this map at some point. So you can see we triple stack this area right here so i'm actually pretty sure this is me like in this area i can wall i think i wall bang the bomb one of these rounds to stop complexity from pushing forward so i think i'm gonna do it right now yeah so guys 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 this was oh, i gotta move this uh image i gotta show you guys this this is this is crazy right here so we had the most nerdy setup, guys. So we would give up A and like bait it out and just have Rick there to spot and like make them think we weren't there. So they'd go for the plant. And I, you can see my triangles right here. So this is in front of A. So this is like the lane right in front of, uh, excuse me, the B bomb. And I would wall bang through the train and I just killed Aches through the train, wall banging him. He's, he was mind blown, 100%. They didn't even catch it either. It was crazy. I was so ahead, the caster didn't even catch it. Nobody was doing that, guys. I promise. No one was doing that besides us. Not to toot our own horn here, but like. Give you guys some perspective how good we were at search, how much different SD was back in the day and the strats that we had. It was a lot different, man. I think Crim Clutch is this, actually. Nope, no, he doesn't. I'm there, baby! I'm frying this game. Oh, yeah. 4-1, Wow. Well, we'll take it. Game was 4 1 for Ricky. A fantastic start here as it is 3 0 in terms of rounds. Clays are yelling, come on. They do not want to go out like this. They are just yelling. That would only just give me more hype, man. God, I miss Black Ops 2. Exactly nothing will beat it. There's nothing that'll beat this. That teamwork and patience they have is second to none in search and destroy. And I just noticed Embo's actually pulled out the shotgun. Yeah, Remington is in hand. He's got. <laughs> so he actually pulled out the shotgun. All right, so here comes the uh, extreme conditioning push. I love this out of Bose. He got up close and personal. The damage is done. He's already close enough, and he's gonna be able to put. Yep. So they just gave us bomb sight. We just keep him guessing. At this point, I mean, Bose is literally all the way up in their elbow. We have bomb control. He's dropping it like it's basically chalk. If Bose wins that gunny there on TP, this round's over. Wow, Parasite just being so so patient, and this is what makes him such a strong, such a strong player. Trying to give Ricky uh, yeah. some cover. Oh, he's gonna get taken down now. Parasite needs to try and clean up that kill. Yeah, TP is in this left side. That Parasite's looking at. If Bo the stays right alive there, this round's he's over. Like we did the damage, the but Glacier, we just Glacier gave them kills. The one in the hallway, one down. on the bomb. MSMC in hand as well. It's all up. Oh man, great oh, round there from Complexity. His name was just got sandwiched between the TP Aches players. <laughs> they just come sprinting down the stairs. Nice teamwork here to finish out the round. He was left in the I don't remember what the final score of this map was. Aches pins them at exactly the same time. He might get that kill, and that's going to give Complexity the first round here in the search and destroy. Sorry right, for the yawn, guys. Up early, I was like, I gotta get this video made. Let's watch this. I was, I was, I've been thinking about this for like a week now. I want to watch a raid too, time machine. We'll watch a raid soon. The sniper was so good in Black Ops 2, man. Like, if this game was played now, sniping would be probably GA'd. Let's go, Bose. The shoddy got greedy for the two piece, bro. Parasite jumps around with the M8, takes him down, and TP's gonna have to rush him now. He knows he's there, obviously, with that bomb. Can he get a kill on Parasite? Yes, he can. Two versus two. Two on two. It's up to Nameless and Ricky from Unite. All up to TP now as Nameless took the bro. I'm there, bro. I'm too good, man, with that M8. You see how hyped that guy said? What's up? Let's look at it one more time. After cleaning up Crim 6, Nameless plays this one perfectly. Yo, hey, yo, guys, listen, look, man. I don't know who this is, but no one's girl safe, bro. Seeing the gameplay, this guy's nice.
See that? <laughs> Yo, Chris gave me the pat on the back. <laughs> he said, wow. That's hilarious. Man, there were times, like, in this game, I swear, Parasite was the best player in the world, dude. A lot of people say Crim6 was, like, super good I and mean, the best player. He was very good. But, dude, I'll tell you guys firsthand, like, playing and beating Complexity, and then we beat them in, like, so many 2Ks and stuff, and teaming with Parasite, he was the best player. He won the World Championship, and then his team fell off a little bit, but he was the best player in this game from start to finish. I'm telling you guys. I promise you, man. He's being very aggressive. Meanwhile, it's funny how things get skewed in the, in the timeline when somebody stops having as much success. The view, the community's viewpoint on said player, like, oh my goodness, the first Bleezy. I'm out here. Come on. I'm unstoppable on this map right here. Trophy system destroyed. Septex goes out. Can he hit nice it? He does play. With the grenade as Krim cleans up Nameless. Who threw that trophy, like though? That complexity turns it back in their favor. A three on two, but Ace is going to be dropped. Big plays from oh, Parasite hard, inside the train. Clayster has to He's out of there. And just like that, Parasite and Ricky turn the dives. They've done so, so well now. Clayster only has 24 seconds left. Let's go. go. It doesn't matter. Ricky shuts him down, and Unite Gaming are just one round away from being your champions. And they are playing like it right now. And look at the faces on Complexity. Ricky with your round and a kill cam. It's just positioning. Get it, Rick. They pinched him. Parasite Get is it. one side. Perfect Ricky round. on the other. They know where their opponent wants to go. And they beat him to those positions every round. Every single round. Alrighty. Like you say, now Complexity attacking side. Did we close it out here? This is gonna need to I don't remember. A huge comeback. Is if you guys have, you should go back and watch some Black Ops 2. Down. Lands, well, I mean, great watch, great time. We can never write them out. They can do comebacks like this. We've seen them do it time and time again. But this is against a fantastic search and destroy squad. Unite just cleared out the terminal. Look at us, same chat. We give them A, bro. We said, you have it, bro. We'll just trap you. Because you're trapped once you're in that area. You're just trapped. And Rick was so good at putting damage down. Like, look, he's just wall banging them. Got nades out. Like, the trap, bro. And then we start to converge on them. They know it. They know it. Bose jumps train. in with the Nameless now putting more shots trying to in. wall bang is taken out by Cloyster. So once again, it's complexity with numbers, but Parasite's gonna pick up Cloyster now. And oh my goodness, Benson, I can't even keep up with these kills. <laughs> so much going on right now. And Unite just timed that push perfectly. They all went together, but now it's gonna be Nameless left in a one versus three situation. TP is gonna have license to plant that bomb, but Nameless has seen him on top train. Doesn't mm. matter. Krim comes Get in from the side, the cleans round. him up, but that's just one round. Complexity need to do this again and again and again if they have any chance of staying alive. And here's how Krim finished it. Aix went up top. Was the distraction and Krim was able to hit the ankle. Hey, Krim shook, bro. Nice He's playing a spawn. Krim six at range as Complexity <laughs> stays alive, but they now must win four more straight. Can they do it? It's gonna be so so difficult, Bucket. We'll get on board with Nameless from the United Team. Eight, Eight and four. four. Yeah. Wow. With the plant as yeah, well. Yeah. Nameless doing everything right. Working with his teammate Parasite. Parasite's gonna Come push on now. In. They know there's a player down low. Parasite. Nice shot. It's a little bit. Got a little sloppy six, at the end, but the I'll huge take huge the first blood, Chris. Six, you stop get it, baby. One more in there. Come on, wait for the help. Wait for the help. They saw Clayster as well in the terminal hallway. Oh, the shoulders. Ricky with Ricky the nade. Let's go, four. bro. I can taste the victory from here. Bombs down. I got it down. Keeps one shot. Embos with the kill. And there it is, guys. Want a chip? I'm expressed. Let's get it. Unite Gaming are your champions. And Embos with this final kill cam. What a feeling. Stuff gets TP Great map. Turns on the train. Oh, look at Young Krim. is going to take it. Embo seals the deal. And Complexity has been deep. The squad, bro. Super fun back then, dude. I was skinny. Sheesh. I never would have thought that going into this tournament. But fair play to this Unite team. They have come out and they have... Hey, man. That was super fun really watching that. I know. How long was that? Was 10 minutes? Again, we have to go back watch some raid. Yo, shout out Hilton with the camo uh, jacket, bro. He's looking fire. Greatest coach right there. Yo, man, much love to everybody who uh, came by and watched this. If you did enjoy it, leave a comment. And, you know, you can sort of see the differences in, you know, Cold War and Black Ops 2 Express. It's still a great map. Um, but, yeah, that, that was a fun one to watch. Those strats obviously wouldn't work today. 
uh but i thought it'd be a good time fun time to go back and watch it and you know chat with you guys and give it like a little reaction at times uh but hey man leave a like comment if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next video this has been time machine episode number one peace